sometimes the mathematics works and sometimes it doesn't. You don't have to go very far, but if we go back, you can say the epicycles were invented by a mathematician, a Greek mathematician, and then uh, Ptolemy used them to argue that, you know, that the Earth is the center of the solar system or the universe for him. So here's mathematics that's valid as mathematics, not very complicated mathematics, but mathematics yes. nonetheless, yes. that doesn't describe reality. And you can go to later on, um, for example, uh, very before you leave that yeah, example, sure. because I think that is a great example where you had some individuals who were looking at the motion of the Earth and the motion of the planets and coming to certain conclusions that we now know to be erroneous, but conclusions about how things were working. There were other physicists, mathematicians, who looked at that math and said, this is so complicated, this is so convoluted, mm -hmm. and if we look at the math this way, it all simplifies, but the conclusion is that the Earth is not the center. So we were propelled by mathematical investigation to imagine the Earth is not the center. And then others, using similar kinds of reasoning, noted that the Sun is actually not the center either. And then similar mathematical reasoning showed us that our galaxy is not the center. It's one of many, many galaxies. We've gone through a sequence of, if you will, cosmic demotions by following the math, <laughs> confirming it through observation, we may be on the threshold of the next demotion by following exactly the same pattern. Earth is not the center, sun is not the center, galaxy is not the center, our universe may not be the center. It may be one of many universes following exactly the same pattern. 